are going to do a practice focused on opening our heart center, the fourth chakra, Anahata chakra. And we'll just um, bring awareness to this part of the body in a lot of our poses. But we also want to be um, energetically aware of this space that really wants to be open but sometimes gets closed off. So we'll do a lot of great poses to open this part of the body. And um, it's not just the front, it's not just the chest and our heart center, but it's also the back side of the body too. So let's go ahead and start in a standing position today. Go ahead and come to the front of the mat. Find a nice solid foundation, spreading the toes wide, firming through the legs, drawing the tailbone down and engaging through the core. Let's bring the hands to heart center. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Close the eyes if you're comfortable with your balance. Let's begin to drop into the breath. So take a nice deep inhale through the nose, fill all the way up. Let it go through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Let it go through the mouth. And then inhale through the nose. Fill all the way up, pause at the top, and then keep the lips closed and exhale through the nose. Inhale through the nose. Exhaling through the nose. And for these last couple breaths, just bow the head forward. Forehead comes toward fingertips. Feel a nice stretch in your upper back and neck. And just start to visualize a nice, warm, glowing ball of energy right where your thumbs are, right at your heart center. And as you take each inhale, this ball of warm light expands. With each exhale, it contracts. One more breath, just like this. Right here, set an intention for your practice. And then lift the head, open the eyes, inhale both arms up overhead. Exhale to the right, slide that right hand down the right leg, lift up and over with the left arm. Gaze can be down at the floor or up toward the sky. Just keep left shoulder in line with left hip. Stay nice and engaged in the core. Inhale, come up to center. And exhale, switch sides. Left hand slides down that left leg. Right arm reaches up and over. You can take the gaze down toward the floor, or up toward the sky. Just want the neck to be nice and comfortable. Really use your core to stay lifted here. Right shoulder's in line with the right hip. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, let's flow to the right. Up to center on the inhale, and to the left on the exhale. Back to center, inhale, and to the right, exhale. Now pause here on the right. Sweep that left arm around the back and reach for the right elbow. Good, and then just start to rock the chin forward and then to the side. Nice stretch in your left neck. And one more rock of the head. Good. Release the hand, both arms up overhead. Side bend to the left. And pause here. We'll sweep the right arm around, reaching toward the left elbow. And then release that left ear toward the left shoulder. And then take some little rocks. Just releasing tension from the side of the neck. Last one. Release the arms, both arms up overhead. This time on the exhale, we're gonna sweep the arms down by the side. Fingertips are gonna to point toward the floor. We're gonna to start to lift the chest, open through the heart, lift the chin. Take a nice deep breath here. Inhale, both arms up overhead. And exhale, swan dive forward to a forward fold. Come down with a flat back, hinging at the hips. Hands reach down toward the floor. Take a generous bend of the knee. Take the tops of the hands flat to the floor. And then just let the head dangle. 
and start to find a little movement, swing side to side. You can take fingertips to the floor, opposite hand toward opposite elbow, whatever feels good. And then on an inhale, come up to a halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, half monkey pose. Hands should either be touching the floor, the shins, or the thighs. Just want nice supported halfway lift here. Pull the shoulders away from the ears, and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise high, tall mountain. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale through center. Exhale, sweep those arms behind the back. Lift the heart. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, monkey. Exhale, forward fold. And one last time through that sequence. All the way up, tall mountain. Side moon to the right. Inhale to center, side moon to the left, inhale through center, exhale hands by the side, lift the chest, lower the fingers, inhale sweep those arms up, exhale forward fold. Monkey inhale, forward fold, exhale. Plant the hands, step back into plank pose. Pause here in plank pose. Nice modification for plank is to take the knees to the floor. Nice tight, engaged core here. Take one more inhale. Exhale, shift forward on the toes. Elbows stay in lower all the way down to the floor. Keep the hands right underneath the shoulders, feet, tops of feet flat to the floor. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift to Cobra. Release on the exhale. And last one, inhale, lift, shine the heart forward, open the throat, and release. Good, and from here, press back to child's pose. Toes come to touch, knees come wide, hips come to the heels, rest the forehead on the mat. Just take a few deep breaths into your heart space on your back body. One more breath here. Tuck the toes under, make your way up to downward facing dog. And start to pedal the feet in downward facing dog. Sway the hips side to side. Last breath, downward facing dog. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, take the right leg high. Exhale, come through, low lunge. Bring that knee toward the nose, step it lightly through, and take that back knee down toward the floor. Ta back toe can be tucked or top of the foot can be flat to the floor. Reach your arms up overhead. If this is enough for the shoulders, keep your arms straight up. Otherwise, flip your um, backs of the hands so they're facing each other, and then cross your wrists and connect the palms of the hands. Good, and from here you can just stay nice and lifted, or you can take it into a little back bend, opening up through the shoulders and the heart. Take one more breath. And come all the way down. Hands to the earth. Keep that left knee right where it is and start to straighten through the right leg for half splits pose. Forward fold over the right leg. You can flex or point the foot. And then we'll come all the way forward back to a low lunge. So tuck that back toe under, lift the knee. Left hand stays planted on the floor, and then sweep that right arm up. 
So you can stay right here with the shoulders stacked over one another, or you can start to twist a little bit deeper and cactus that arm, start to spiral the heart up toward the sky. Just make it a really expansive movement here. And then come back through, hand to the earth, step back, plank pose, lower down chaturanga or all the way to the mat. And this time we'll take up dog and we'll hold upward facing dog for an extra breath. So as we roll the shoulders down, lift through the crown of the head, and maybe we press that chest forward and open through the throat, lifting the chin. So you're really active in the legs for upward dog, otherwise legs on the floor for cobra. Come back to downward facing dog. Let's take the left leg high. Knee to nose, step it through. Place that right knee down on the floor. Toes tucked or flat to the floor, your choice. Lift the arms up overhead. Enough for the shoulders, stay here. Otherwise, backs of the hands face each other and take the opposite cross of the wrists. Press your palms firmly into one another and either stay here or take it into a back bend. Just lifting through the heart, reaching back through the fingertips, lowering into the hips. and release. Half splits, Ardha Hanumanasana, take that right hip right over the right knee, straighten out through the left leg, and forward fold over the left leg. You can flex or point the toes. And make your way back to low lunge. Come forward 90 degrees in that front leg, tuck the back toes under, lift the knee, Take the right hand to the floor and then lift the left arm up. Energetically squeeze your inner thighs into, in toward each other. Get a nice solid foundation there. And then option to cactus the arm, shine the heart up toward the sky. And then come all the way back down. Step back to plank pose, lower down chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale, and back to downward facing dog, exhale. One more breath here. Take the right leg high, sweep it all the way up, and then knee to nose, step through low lunge. Rise up crescent lunge, a nice 90 degree angle in that front leg, and then back heel lifts off the floor, good. We draw the tailbone down, and then we begin to straighten through that back leg. Inhale here, exhale, dip that knee down, cactus the arms, maybe take the gaze up. Really challenging for the balance, you can always have it on the floor. Just open your chest, rise back up, crescent lunge, and then open up to warrior two. Plant that back heel down on the floor. Nice 90 degrees in that front leg. Look down, make sure you can see your left big toe. So that right knee is pulling open, shoulders away from the ears. On the next inhale, reverse warrior, left hand slides down the back leg, right arm reaches up and back. Pause here. You can stay right here with the hand down on the leg, or reach the left hand around toward the right hip. Just roll that left shoulder open, bend a little deeper, and then come down, extended side angle. You can take this variation first with the right elbow on the right knee. Palm faces up, left arm sweeps up, and again, this time, instead of sweeping that arm forward, we're gonna take a little cactus of the arm. And just open the left shoulder. Won't be a very dramatic spin, but you'll feel a nice opening in your shoulder and your chest. And then come back all the way up, release to low lunge. So take both hands to the mat, step back plank, lower chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. One breath here. Lift the left leg high, low lunge, step through. 
Slowly rise up, crescent lunge. Keep that knee stacked right over the ankle. Get nice and low in your lunge. Draw the tailbone down and forward. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Really actively reach through the fingertips, working towards straight arms. Inhale here. Exhale, dip the knee, cactus the arms. Maybe take the gaze up. Press it all the way up. And warrior two. Back heel spins to the mat. Good. Nice straight and strong back leg, pressing into the outer edge of that back foot. Shoulders and hips open to the side. Soft gaze across the front fingertips. Inhale, reverse warrior, pause here. Option to take the half bind, reaching that right hand around toward the left hip. Roll that right shoulder open. Side bend a little deeper. And then extended side angle variation. Left elbow to left knee. Right arm reaches up first. Good. And then from here, cactus the arm. So open the chest, maybe look up. Bring that right arm straight up overhead. And then release right hand to the floor. Step back plank. And lower chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. And back to downward facing dog. Exhale. One more breath. All right, so let's flow. Take the right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Rise up, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, full extended side angle. Reach that left arm all the way forward. Get a nice stretch in your left ribs. Inhale, come up to five-pointed star. Toes point out. Arms reach up, really active through the fingertips. And then exhale, take hands to heart center. Sink down into your squat. Hold here. Draw the tailbone down. Draw the knees open, shoulders away from the ears. As we inhale, let's come all the way up, five-pointed star. Exhale, warrior two to the back of our mats. Inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, bring both hands to the mat. Heel lifts off the floor. And uh, take that left foot all the way back, stack it on top of the right side, plank. Vashistasana. Good, roll onto that right hand. Lift through the left fingertips. One more breath here. And then come through, chaturanga. Exhale. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Now look forward to the, to the back of your mat and step or float to the back. Bring feet to meet the hands. Take a forward fold here. On the inhale, sit low, arms high, chair pose. Hold here, settle into your heels, wiggle the toes, shoulders away from the ears. Really actively reach through the fingertips, working towards straight arms. Take one more breath. And exhale, come all the way to a stand. Mountain pose, palms face out. Reach through the crown of the head. Inhale, both arms up overhead. Connect the palms of the hands together and bring them to your heart. Drop the forehead toward the fingertips. And then just visualize a nice glowing light at your heart center. Expanding and opening up as we inhale. And then exhale, release hands to the sides, palms face out, mountain pose. Inhale, tall mountain, rise all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, step or float back. Lower halfway or all the way down. Upward facing dog or cobra on the inhale. And back to downward facing dog on the exhale. 
same leg, take the right leg high, step through low lunge, inhale rise up crescent, exhale warrior two, inhale five pointed star just flowing back to the front of our mat, exhale prayer squat, inhale five pointed star, exhale warrior two to the front, inhale reverse warrior, and exhale low lunge. Step back, plank pose. Chaturanga, exhale. Upward facing dog on the inhale. Downward facing dog on the exhale. One more breath. And lift that left leg high. Step through, low lunge. Rise up, crescent lunge, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, five pointed star. Exhale, prayer squat, hands to heart center, sink down. Take both hands to the knees, thumbs face in. Dip that left shoulder in and look to the right. Press the knees open, getting a nice inner thigh stretch. Come back through center, inhale, exhale, right shoulder in, look to the left, press the knees open. Inhale, come back through center, just position the heels behind the toes and come into Prasarita, Padottanasana, standing straddle splits. Stay really nice and engaged through the legs. So the legs aren't just hanging out, your quadriceps are working, your kneecaps are lifting. One more breath here. Inhale, come all the way up, five pointed star. Exhale, warrior two to the back of your mat. Inhale, reverse warrior, up and back. And exhale, Come all the way forward, hands to the floor. Left hand is gonna be your foundation. Step that right foot back, side plank. Modification for side plank is to take the right foot to the floor, the left knee to the floor, a little more supportive there. Hold here. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Look toward the front of the mat, step or float forward, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, airplane chair, sweep the arms back, lift the heels. Inhale, chair. Exhale, airplane chair. Inhale, chair. Exhale, airplane chair. Hold here, release the feet or the heels to the floor. Take your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, and then press your fists down and lift your chest. You're still in a chair position in the legs. Take one more inhale here. And then exhale, forward fold with chest expansion. So bring the fists up and over the back of the head, even if, even if they're just resting on the tailbone and you get a little bit of a lift. Just wanna feel the shoulders opening. No tension in the neck. And then sit back into your chair, release the hands, lift them up, chair pose, forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale, step or float back through chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Take that left leg lift, inhale, step through, low lunge, exhale. Rise up, crescent, inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Five-pointed star, inhale. Prayer squat, exhale. Five-pointed star, inhale. Warrior two to the front, exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. 
step back plank, lower chaturanga, up dog inhale, down dog exhale, and take the knees to the mat, hips to the heels, and walk the hands forward, child's pose. Really focus on bringing your breath into your back body. So really expanding heart center on our backs. Maybe just bring your awareness and your attention to something in your heart that could soften. Maybe an attitude, maybe a relationship. And from here, make your way forward and come all the way down onto the belly. Take a couple spine strengtheners here. So first one, go ahead and just zip up the legs, toes and heels touch, bring hands behind the back and find chest expansion again. Press your fists towards your heels and lift your chest. Good. Continue to breathe. And then maybe lift the feet off the floor as well. Good. Take one more breath. And release. Take the left ear to the mat, arms along the side. Bring the chin to the mat and take floor bow. So bend both legs, take the feet from the outside, draw the knees in so they're in line with the hips, and then start to press the feet into the hands, lift through the crown of the head. Continue to pull the knees toward one another, strengthening through the inner thighs, and then press the feet into the hands, opening the chest. One more breath and release. Take opposite ear to the mat, arms down by the side. For our last one here, bring the feet to hip distance apart, arms come off to the side, nice and wide, and on the inhale, lift everything off the floor. Nice expansive posture, really actively reach through the balls of the feet and through the fingertips. Shoulders draw away from the ears, heels lift, crown of the head lifts. Last inhale and exhale, opposite ear to the mat. Come right back to a really soft breath. Draw the hands back underneath the shoulders and press up through tabletop or plank and back to downward facing dog. Reconnect to your deep, steady ujjayi breath. One more breath here. Okay, lift the right leg high. Bring the right foot to the outside of the left hand. 
So across the body, good. Spin that back heel to the mat, right hand flat to the floor, and then start to lift that left arm up for fallen triangle pose. All right, left hand comes to the floor and then just listen to this cue. You're gonna bring your heel off the floor, your right leg is gonna come up and around and you're gonna come into wild thing. So right foot will plant to the floor. Good, nice, nice. Good transitions. Reach that right arm back. Open your chest, open your throat. Just visualize that ball of light expanding. And then come back to plank pose and back to downward facing dog. On the other side, left leg lifts. Bring the left foot to the outside of the right hand. Cross the body. Back heel spins down. Left hand is your foundation. Lift that right arm up. Maybe look up toward the fingertips. Really engage those obliques so the heat hips keep lifting. And right hand to the floor. Left, right heel lifts. Left leg comes up and over and plants to the floor. Lift the hips, open through the chest and throat. And come back through plank and back to downward facing dog. So we'll incorporate that into our flow. On the next inhale, take your right leg high Exhale, low lunge. Back knee releases to the floor. Lift the arms up overhead. And then it's kind of a challenge here. We're gonna take this into airplane pose. So you're gonna lift that back knee, step onto that right foot and sweep the arms back all at the same time. Good, hold here in airplane. And on the next inhale, sweep that left leg through. The left leg is gonna come over the right and the right arm is gonna come underneath the left for eagle, Garudasana. So work toward the wrap with the feet. If you can't get the wrap, toe becomes a kickstand. And then sit low, lift the chest, square off the elbows and the knees. All right, this is a great pose to get into our back body. So start to press the elbows out away from the body and then lift the arms up. Now breathe into the heart space at the back of your body. And then pull the elbows down and in. Lower your shoulders, nice stretch for your upper shoulders, tops of your shoulders. All right, unwind, come up to modified five-pointed star. Left leg comes off to the side, fingers reach up, and then back to airplane pose. Left leg sweeps back, arms alongside the body. Step down into low lunge, nice and light. Right leg lifts, inhale. Right foot outside of left hand, exhale. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, left arm down. Inhale, right foot up and over. Exhale, reach that right arm back. Come back through. Plank, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale, and downward facing dog, exhale. Two more breaths. All right, take that left leg high, step through low lunge. Release the back knee to the floor. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, airplane pose. So step onto that left foot, sweep the arms back, level the hips, lift through the chest. All five toes on the right foot, point down. And then slowly come up to eagle pose. So right leg is gonna wrap around the left, left arm underneath the right. Sink low into your chair. Nice steady gaze on the floor. <laughs> I 
The wind is gonna blow me over. Elbows out and up. Elbows down and in, another deep breath. And airplane pose. Sweep it back. Release low lunge. Step back plank. Lower chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left leg lifts, inhale. Left foot to the outside of right hand, exhale. Inhale, fallen triangle. Exhale, release that hand to the floor. Inhale, up and over, wild thing. Exhale, reach that arm back. Inhale, back through plank. Exhale, lower down. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. And then come down onto your mat. Grab a drink of water. A lot of bugs. <laughs> oh, I have ants crawling on me. All right, let's come down onto our backs. Bring both hands and interlace them at the base of the skull. And bring your knees or your legs up to 90 degrees, toes in line with heels, in line with knees, in line with hips. And then from here, bring your left elbow to your right knee and extend your left leg long. Hold here, keep lifting and spiraling the chest open to the side. And then switch it out. So right leg forward, left leg in, elbow to knee, keep the chest lifted. Good, and then just back and forth. Option for straight legs, you can scissor kick. One more on each side. Good, come back through center and hug both knees into the chest. Plant the feet on the floor. Coming into bridge pose, press into your heels and lift your hips off the floor. Option for chest expansion here. Take both hands, interlace them underneath the hips, roll onto the shoulders. Keep the chest coming toward the chin and the chin away from the chest. Last breath and bridge. Lower all the way down. Bring your knees into your chest and take a rock along the spine and come all the way up to boat pose. Pause here in boat pose. You can have hands on the legs, you can have hands extended, legs can be bent, legs can be straight. Just keep the chest lifted and the shoulders away from the ears. Okay, and right from boat pose, we're gonna come into upward angle. So take your peace fingers, reach towards your big toes. Good. Maybe we stay here. Maybe we extend the legs straight or towards straight, even if they're not straight. Just keep that chest lifted, using your core to hold you here in balance. And then you can stay here or take a straddle. If you straddle the legs, continue to press your heart as if we're gonna go through your legs toward your front of your mat. Stay engaged in your quads, lifted through your chest. And if your legs are separated, bring them back together and come back into boat pose. Balance here, good. And with control, slowly lower with straight legs all the way down. Pause while you hover the heels and the shoulders and then make your way down onto your back. Keep that left leg extended. Pull the right knee into the chest. Interlace the fingers around the knee. Pull the knee off to the right and up toward the shoulder. Keep the elbows in. Flex both feet back, both all sets of toes back toward both knees. And 
and then relax the grip on the knee, guide it across the body into a twist. So right knee comes to the left, right arm extends to the right, look toward the fingertips. And then come back through center, pull the left knee in, extend the right leg long, Pull the knee around the ribs up toward the left shoulder. All 10 toes flexing back toward both knees. Elbows stay in. Hips and shoulders flat to the floor. Relax the grip on the knee. Guide the knee across the body to the right. Arm extends to the left. And we gaze to the left. and then come back towards center. Pull the knees back into the chest and then come all the way up to kneeling. So bring those hips right over the knees. We're gonna take um, the right leg to the side for gate pose. So the toes can either be pointed forward or off to the side, whatever's more comfortable for your ankle and more supportive for you. Take both hands up overhead, and then we're gonna side bend to the right. So slide that right hand down the right leg. Left arm's gonna reach up and over. Keep left shoulder in line with left hip. Gaze can be down at your leg or up toward the sky. And then from here, you're gonna sweep the arm in front of the body and reach that left hand toward the left heel. You can tuck the left toes under if you would like, and then sweep that right arm up and back. Queen's Gate Pose. Continue to press your hips forward. Open through your throat. Lift your heart. And then come sweep that right arm in front of you just for a little leverage to get you back up. Good. Right hand slides down the right leg. Left arm reaches up and over. Sweep that left arm in front of the body. Reaches for the left heel. Right arm sweeps up and back. And then back around. Good. And come back to kneeling. We'll take that on the other side. So left leg extends to the left, toes point out or forward. Both arms reach up overhead. And left le hand slides down the left leg for gate pose. Right arm reaches up and across. Comfortable gaze down at the floor, up toward the sky. Keep your right shoulder in line with your right hip. And then we're gonna take that right arm, we're gonna sweep it across the body. And it's gonna reach for the right heel behind us. Left arm reaches up and back. Lift your heart, open your throat. Sweep the arm forward in front of the body just for a little leverage there. Left arm down the side, left leg, right arm sweeps across the body and reaches back. Left arm sweeps up and back. And come all the way back to kneeling. Good. And from here, we're nice and prepped for camel pose. So you can take feet, tops of feet flat to the floor or tuck the toes under, whatever's more comfortable. Hands to low back. Fingers point straight down. We're gonna press those hips forward. Start to lift through the chest, draw the elbows in. Maybe this is as far as we go. Option to take one hand at a time down toward the heels. Press the hips forward. One of the biggest heart openers we can do in yoga, Ustrasana camel pose. Continue to breathe. The breath is gonna feel a little constricted. That's very normal and natural. Take one more breath here. Slowly make your way all the way up. Hips to the heels, hands to the thighs, close your eyes. And just notice all the energy you've created and opened in your heart center. And then just find a softening here in your heart. All right, come all the way back up. I'm gonna do a variation here on camel pose. So we're gonna take that right foot forward, bring it to 90 degrees. 
and bring that left hand back to the left heel and then we're going to sweep that right arm up and back. Ooh, I'm losing my balance. Come all the way back up. Good. And switch it out. Left leg comes to 90 degrees out in front of us. Right hand is going to reach for the right heel. And then we're going to take that left arm, reach it up and back. It kind of challenges the balance here, not being on both knees. Come all the way back up. Good. Come back onto the shins. And just hands to the thighs. Take a couple breaths here. All right, let's counter pose our camels with rabbit pose, which is also a big heart opener for the back side of the body. So we're gonna take the hands to the heels. We're gonna start to round the shoulders and tuck the chin to the chest. Round down, forehead is gonna come toward the knees, crown of the head is gonna come toward the floor. Get a nice solid grip on the heels and then start to lift the hips high. Press the hips up and forward. And slowly release from camel pose. Let's come back to downward facing dog. Look toward the front of the mat. Step or float forward. Forward fold. Inhale, rise up to tall mountain. Exhale, hands to the heart. To do one grounding balance posture to close out our standing practice. So grounding down through the right foot, we'll take that left foot to the ankle, calf, or inner thigh, just avoid the knee. Bring hands to heart center. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Now tighten up through your quadricep, kneecap is lifting. Your left foot is pressing into your right inner thigh, your right inner thigh is pressing back, so legs are nice and active. Draw the tailbone down, lift through the chest, lift through the crown of the head. You can keep your hands where they are, or if you'd like to further open the chest, you can reach the hands for reverse namaskar and back, connecting the palms of the hands, pressing the pinkies into your back, opening the elbows and shoulders. Or you can take opposite hand toward opposite elbow. These are all nice chest and heart shoulder openers as well. Just feel the steadiness in your standing leg rooting down into the earth. And then feel that energy rising up and lifting you through the crown of the head. And release. Good. So spread your left toes wide. And take your right foot to left ankle, calf, or inner thigh. Yes, yeah, standing or the opposite one. Hands to heart center. Okay, so create that solid foundation first. Quadricep is engaged, kneecaps lifting. Thigh is pressing into foot, foot is pressing into thigh. You're drawing all this energy inward. Right knee is opening, chest is lifting. And then you can take a different or the same arm variation, or you can keep your hands at heart center. You're also welcome to lift the arms up overhead. Flowing, calm and steady breath. And 
and release. Inhale, both arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And last chaturanga if you want it, step or float back. Upward facing dog on the inhale. Downward facing dog on the exhale. Lift the right leg high. We'll take half pigeon here on the right side. Right knee toward right wrist. Right foot toward left wrist, extend that leg back. Take the top of the foot flat to the floor. Good. And then we're gonna take the hands behind the back for a chest expansion and a spine strengthener. So interlace fingers behind the back. Start to lift through the chest. Maybe open through the throat. And release, come all the way down. Rest the forehead on the hands. Press up onto the hands. Sweep that right leg up and back, three-legged dog. And release back to downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg high and half pigeon on the other side. Top of the foot flat to the floor. You can stay here just lifting through the chest or you can take chest expansion. Hands behind the back, interlace the fingers. Start to press the fists down and back. Open through the throat and chest. And when you're ready, release to sleeping pigeon. Quiet the breath, quiet the thoughts. Just be fully present in the body. Press your hands into the mat. Lift that <coughs> left leg high up and back. <coughs> and release back to down dog. And make your way down onto your back. So for our last big heart opener of class, we can take another set of bridge or we can take wheel pose, Urdhva Dhanurasana. So come on down to your back. We're gonna work toward holding the pose for eight breaths. So if you need to come down from wheel and give it a rest, see if you can come back up for those last couple breaths. For wheel, flip the hands, fingers point toward the heels, come up onto the crown of the head, press into the hands, lift up into wheel. 
or you can take bridge as your option. And just bring your awareness to your heart center. And come back to something that can soften, something that can open in your heart chakra, this energy center in our body. And slowly lower down. Just let the knees rest toward one another. Take one hand to your heart, one hand to your low belly. Last breath here. And now just to counterpose our bridge or wheel, bring the knees in toward the chest. Take a nice tight squeeze here. And separate the knees, separate the feet, come into happy baby. Hands around the calves or the ankles, outer or inner edge of the feet, or peace fingers around big toes. And bring the knees back into the chest. And we'll just release the knees to the right and gaze to the left. So any variation of supine twist you'd like to take, if you want the knees stacked or staggered, feel free to take what feels comfortable. Come back through center, release knees to the left, left or gaze comes out to the right. Come back towards center, extend the legs long. In our last pose before Shavasana, we're gonna take Matsyasana fish pose, great heart and throat opener. So just prop yourself up on your elbows. Hands come toward the hips, palms face or flat to the mat, and then really extend through the balls of the feet and start to lift the chest, and then drop the head back. Breathe into your heart space. One last inhale. And exhale, start to lower down onto your back. And prepare for Shavasana. Let the legs come toward the outer edges of the mat. Feet will fall open, palms face up. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose. Let it go through the mouth. And then just completely let go of the breath now. Let the breath be soft. And take a little scan of the body, releasing tension as we move up from the toes through the legs. <clears throat> let the hips be soft and heavy. Let the heart melt. Fingers are nice and loose. Shoulders releasing to the earth. <clears throat> and just bring your awareness to your jaw. Soften through the jaw. 
And then up to your third eye center. At your forehead between your eyes. Just release and soften. Start to wiggle the fingers and the toes. Roll the wrists and the ankles. Reach the arms up overhead for a full stretch. Fingertips to toes. And then rolling onto the side. Cradling the head and the arm. Pulling the knees in toward the chest. Take this last moment here to acknowledge your practice. Find gratitude for this time, this space, and this body that can carry us through this amazing practice of yoga. Set an intention for the rest of the day. Make your heart nice and open. And then press all the way up to a seat. hands to heart center. Today as you go forward, may you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, peace in your heart. Namaste.